Uh, yeah, colleagues, um, uh, I'd like to present my uh, text, my investigation. Mm, the, I'd like to uh, say about the situation of the Ukrainian church uh, in the situation of the uh, Russian war against Ukraine. We have a lot of difficulties. Um, this uh, next slide. Uh, count the beginning of Russian's armed aggression uh, against Ukraine since May uh, 2014, when Russia annexed the Crimean Peninsula and parts of territories of the Lugansk and the West regions. Russia's full-scale uh, full uh, invasion of Ukraine began on uh, February 25th, uh, 2022, and continues to this day. Russia has destroyed a number of cities in eastern Ukraine, such as Mariupol, Severodonetsk, Bakhmut, Popasna, etc., killed more than 11,000 civilians and injured more than 21,000. More than 6.5 million of Ukrainians have become refugees. As for the church, as far as the Ukrainian church is um, concerned, uh, we can speak of uh, its many years of struggle to get out from under the influence of the Russian Orthodox Church and to establish a united local Orthodox Church on the ter Ukrainian territory. At different stages of this struggle, uh, church organizations emerged in Ukrainian, which claimed the status of local church. For example, Ukrainian Greek <coughs> Catholic Church since uh, 1596, Ukrainian Odocephalos Orthodox Church since 1919, Ukrainian Orthodox Church Kiev uh, Patriarchate uh, since uh, 1992, Orthodox Church of Ukraine since 19, uh, 2019, this church is now recognized by four of the 14 local churches, the um, Patriarchate of uh, Constantinople, the Patriarchate of uh, Alexandria, the Greek and Cypriot churches. In addition, there is uh, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Moscow Patriarchate, which has only recently declared this its separation from the Russian Orthodox Church and full autonomy. All of these churches continue to exist, but none of them has become the only local church. Despite this disunity, the idea of a single Ukrainian uh, local Orthodox Church is uh, perceived in Ukrainian society as a necessary condition uh, for the unity of the people uh, and the building a strong and powerful state. And today it is also a necessary factor in resisting armed aggression and uh, preserving Ukrainians' independence. However, however, at present, the churches in Ukraine, as in general, <clears throat> uh, is uh, immersed in uh, a situation of confrontation. Its sources are uh, vestiges of the Soviet past, the Soviet educational system, in particular the concept of the so-called three fraternal na nations uh, and the state of Kiev and Rus at their cradle. The difficulties of several Orthodox churches coexistence in the territory of the state. Every of them uh, have their own history of origin and accordingly their own peculiarities of you of the Ukrainian past and present. <clears throat> and the third factor is the historically established and assiduously fulfilled by Russia over the centuries confrontation between East and West of Ukraine. Uh, uh, Safest is to say um, that uh, transport links between Ukrainians Eastern point, uh, the city of Lugansk, and uh, its uh, westernmost point, the city of Ushkara, were only established after Ukraine um, gained independence. It should be noted that the confrontation was largely eliminated after February 24, 2022. Almost the entire population left the territories newly occupied by Russia and went to the west part of Ukraine. 
The Ukrainian church and Ukrainian believers are affected by the factors mentioned above. In the current situation of uh, Russia's territorial war and the lack of uh, psychological stability, the opposition of a number of narratives is particularly acute in this church environment. The most important of them are the following. Next, I want to present you some um, confrontation factors in the um, ambience of uh, church in Ukraine is in general. Confrontation between churches inspired by the Russian Orthodox Church and secular world pictures. On the one hand, the concept of holy rules in, in the understanding of uh, Patriarch Kirill as a unit, including the uh, state unity of Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. On the other hand, the centuries long struggle of Ukraine for national and state independence. Um, it is uh, in, in Patriarch Kirill words, uh, all these are the people and peoples of Holy Russia. In his sermon of 3 April, he blessed the war against Ukraine because it, he said, brings goodness and justice. In his report of uh, July 19th, uh, 2023, he said, in the circumstances from which uh, this conflict began, we see the undeniable religious dimension and irrational hatred uh, for the people's uh, profession of orthodoxy. We have to admit uh, that by this logic, Russia has an irrational hatred for orthodoxy confessing the faith. It is important to say that 20 of 52 uh, bishoprics of Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate have stopped mentioning Patriarch Kirill's name during divine services. The ideological uh, basis of uh, Russia's aggression against Ukraine is the notorious doctrine of the Russian war, recognized in the European Orthodox Church environment as ethnophilic heresy. Uh, here are a few quotes from the order of the 25 World Russian People's Council, the past and future of the Russian world, Moscow, 27-28, November 2023. Uh, could you uh, explain this slide, please? Mm -hmm. Next. Please, next. Please, next. 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 Um, next. This is some quotes from the uh, Patriarch Kirill and the, this uh, event, World Russian People's Council. Next, please. Next. <coughs> next. Uh, all this is said on the independent territory of Ukraine. Um, Russian people with arms in their hands defend their life, freedom, statehood, um, civilizational, religion, national, and uh, cultural identity, as well as the right to live in their own land, in the borders of the United Russian state. Next, please. Uh, in which uh, is the holy war in which Russia and her people protecting the united spiritual space of holy Russia. After the end of the war, the whole territory of modern Ukraine should enter the zone of exclusive influence of Russia. Next, please. Yes, I want to know if all this is said about the territory of the independent state of Ukraine. Next, please. And uh, more all this. It is said about uh, Russian spiritual right values and to receive uh, corresponding legal protection. Uh, the concept of Russian covers all Eastern Slavs. 
On the contrary, Ukrainian society and the Ukrainian church proceed from the realities of the existence of independent and um, internationally recognized uh, states of Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. Violation of existing recognized borders should be punished in accordance uh, with the norms of international law. Next, please. Another example of uh, um, confrontation in the church, Ukrainian church, confrontation of historical interpretation of the past. Russian view of history. Russia is the heir of the medial state of Kiev and Rus, the only heir. This is the evidence, for, the, for example, by the proximity of the um, name, Rus, Russia. As for Ukraine, it is seen as a marginal, marginal territory where the purity of Russian culture has been spoiled by Polish and generally Western influence. The Ukrainian language is the dialect of Russian and um, indicator of the rural origin of its speaker. And uh, in general, the Ukrainian language should be banned and destroyed. Ukrainian view of history. Ukraine is the only direct heir of Kiev and Rus, uh, which is provided by linguistic, moral, territorial factors. And Russia is a multinational state, mainly um, consisting of non-Slavic nationalities and uh, having very little in common with the territory and culture of ancient Rus. Until the 17th century, the territory was called Moscovia, and uh, the name Russia from Rus was stolen from Ukraine. Russian is the Ukrainian, um, Rusin is the Ukrainian, Russian is the resident of Russia. Uh, next, uh, confrontation of the sphere of values. Russia against Ukraine, Russian Orthodox Church and uh, Orthodox religion against the secular state. In the axiosphere of the Orthodox Church, national um, independence is not so to say the final value. On the contrary, the division, division of the United Church on the national basis is uh, condemned. Uh, or to put it mildly, this proved. On the contrary, in the idea of the secular democratic society, a nation has the right uh, to self-determination. However, in the rhetoric of uh, Russian Orthodox Church, representative Russian is um, presented as a synonym of holy, spiritual, high, Christian, and so on. And the Ukrainian is corrupted and subject uh, to destruction. Now, in the territories of Ukraine occupied by Russia, the Ukrainian language uh, and wearing of Ukrainian national clothes are forbidden. Uh, next, please. Confrontation of church chronologies, calendars. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Moscow Patriarchate, uh, remains uh, committed uh, to the Julian calendar, while the newly established Orthodox Church of Ukraine uh, which, uh, with which the greatest hopes of uh, uniting of the Soviet Church is pinned, uh, announced um, the transition to the new Julian calendar and the celebrated uh, Christmas for the first time in 2023 on uh, December 25th. Um, in addition, uh, on the one hand, we observe the increase of subjectivism in the church sphere on the part of Ukraine transition from denomination to de determination support for this or that state public of um, church uh, leaders. <coughs> on the other hand, there is no doubt about the um, strengthening of totalitarianism on the part of Russia sanctions to priests for replacing the world victory in the, in, with the world peace on the prayer on Holy Russia introduced by the Patriarch Kirill, facts of um, denunciation by um, pensions against uh, their acquaintances, neighbors, uh, if their um, latest assessment of the war in Ukraine differs from the other Russian uh, line and much more. 
present in Russian Orthodox Church as the only true orthodoxy, Patriarch Kirill at the same time introduced some changes in their order of church services, namely reading the gospel facing to people, uh, the priest reading uh, secret prayers uh, aloud, uh, servicing and the entire the entire liturgy from the king's gate open, and uh, the priest uh, proclaiming a sermon from the ambo uh, immediately after the reading of the gospel. It should be emphasized that these innovations uh, for the Russian Orthodox Church have long been practiced and are considered the norm in other uh, local Orthodox churches. For example, the reading of the gospel facing the people all year long in the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. The proclamation of sermon immediately after the reading of the gospel has been the norm of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church since 17th century. And this practice uh, has been repeat, um, uh, repeatedly criticized by representatives of the Russian Orthodox Church as the, in, in a an acceptable interruption of the service. All this shows a lack of um, respect for people and um, excessive conservatism of the large Russian Orthodox Church. In general, as a conclusion, it can be noted uh, that uh, while the war uh, was uh, hoped by um, Ukrainian civil society, in the sphere of church life, the idea of local uh, Ukrainian Orthodox Church is still a dream. Thank you.